So uh, we know that there are several aging uh, associated observations in multiple sclerosis. These observations are likely to contribute to many aspects of the disease course in illness, such as clinical and subclinical activity, uh, recovery from relapses, progressive MS onset, the CNS reserve, and aging related changes in the immune system, including uh, immunomodulation. First of all, uh, the post relapse recovery potential significantly declines with aging. Patients whose first uh, ever relapses happen earlier in life recover better than those whose uh, first ever relapses happen later in life. We also showed that when the first and last ever relapses uh, within the same individual uh, are compared, the post relapse recovery potential declined with aging, leading to a greater disability accumulation due to relapses. Uh, another uh, important aging related observation is the time of transition from the relapsing remitting phase to the progressive phase in MS. As about 80% uh, of the patients ultimately evolve to the progressive phase of the disease, it is important to point out that the progressive MS onset seems to be age dependent. We have shown in the past that the evolution from the relapsing remitting phase to the progressive phase usually happens during the fifth decade with a mean age of 45 plus or minus 10 years. Um, the structural uh, central nervous system reserve is also expected to decrease with aging, both in the general population and also in, the, in patients with MS. And the imaging studies show that the white matter maturation terminates uh, by the fourth decade, but it starts to decline afterwards. And we think that this might be relevant to the decline of post relapse recovery potential in all the patients, and also might be relevant to the transition to, to, the, to a progressive phase, which is expected to happen during the fifth decade. Uh, we also observe that relapses and subclinical lesions become less common with aging in patients with MS. However, uh, it is still important to prevent uh, relapses in older individuals because even a single relapse uh, at an older age may significantly contribute to the disability worsening. This is likely due to the lower post relapse recovery potential and higher propensity for progressive disease course with aging. It is also important in making decisions about treatment discontinuation in older adults with MS. So overall, uh, aging seems to be the major determinant of clinical evolution in multiple sclerosis. 